Say you have these two equations, you want to know what the area is of the region that's bound by the two equations. Apparently when I graph them, they form the walls of some area, I want to know the area. This is number 9 from the worksheet, by the way. So, before I even graph this, I actually have a hint that this is going to be a right minus left problem, and that hint is the fact that both of these are set up as x equals. Normally functions look like y equals, these are x equals. That's a strong hint. If I do graph this, which, okay, the graph of x equals 9 minus y squared, that's going to look something like this. When I do have this graph, I do get uh, further confirmation that this is a right minus left problem. Because if I were to color in this light blue region, I could color it in by continually connecting the function on the right to the one on the left, the one on the right to the one on the left, right, left, right, left, green on the right, blue on the left. If I keep connecting these two with these horizontal lines from right to left, I end up coloring in the whole region. As opposed to if I tried doing top minus bottom, if I connect the top to the bottom, it's green on both sides. What, what am I going to do? The green minus itself? I'm going to have to break it up into a, there's a positive part and a negative part. It's going to be a whole mess. This is a right minus left problem. Once I've reached that conclusion, I realize my integral is going to look like well, it's going to have a, everything with y's. When I do right minus left, it's all about the y's, which is good because this is set up with y's. And I know I do right minus left, so green minus blue. The green equation is 9 minus y squared. Blue equation is 5. This will be what I'm integrating. What I integrate from and to is based on where my first line is when I do right to left and where my last one is. My first one my lines start off at negative 2. Right, it's all about y values. The y value where I first start coloring this in is negative 2. The y value where I last color it in is positive 2. So this will be the integral that I do. Uh, and of course I would evaluate the integral, antiderivatives, calculus, math and such, and so forth. You know how it is.